Okay, so if you need help, if you feel you need help communicating, if you want to get more out of Drupal and open source and the power of this incredible community of practitioners that we have, Ruth. Yeah. So, hi. Yeah? yeah? Right? Yes. Good. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia podcast, Drupal technology, community, and business. Welcome to the Acquia podcast, Drupal technology, community, and business. module for that there of course there is this is the aquia podcast we are at drupalcon austin in an incredibly hot uh texas summer basically um outside it's kind of unbearable for me but they've got air conditioning here so we're okay we're at drupalcon austin i am with a friend of mine ruth fuller And we are going to be talking today about some special and interesting things that Ruth does in and around Drupal, which are uh, somewhat unique and I find very, very interesting. Why don't you introduce yourself to the folks at home mm -hmm. and uh, give us a, like a thumbnail sketch of what it is you're up to. Absolutely. Um, as Jan mentioned, my name is Ruth, uh, Ruth Fuller. I used to be with the Drupal Association, and that's how I got into Drupal. And I spent a lot of time working with both the community as well as dealing with all of the sponsors and all of the integrations that go into a DrupalCon on the sponsor side. And so now I am off on my own trying to combine those things helping sponsors get more involved in the community themselves, going past their DrupalCon sponsorships and really getting involved, funding the right camps and meetups, helping with code sprints, and so providing them that roadmap as well as helping them coordinate it. So could we call this community val open source community value consulting somehow? Yes, it's a, it's a community engagement for businesses. So. A lot of businesses are using open source today, mm -hmm. and I think that a lot of them see cheap code, they see in Drupal's successful platform, which gives them a lot of power, and yet I don't think people realize how much more they can get out of open source, out of Drupal, if they really engage with it. Right. I think one of the big things that people aren't realizing, and a few companies have been great about this, is you know, you have that great open source code, but if you send your developers out there and they're learning more and they're getting involved, then company-specific pain points that you have can be taken care of by not just people in your organization, but entire community. What's your first Drupal memory? first Drupal memory. Oh gosh. I can tell you my best Drupal memory. All right, what's your okay. best Drupal memory? My best Drupal memory is the first time I actually met Dries in person, not just through email, was when uh, at DrupalCon Portland, they needed to use my apartment to pretend it was his apartment for a documentary. And I had moved in about two weeks earlier, and so I just shoved moving boxes away and He used my keys and was like, home sweet home, and walking into my apartment, I'm like, this is a little weird. <laughs> By the way, I work for you. <laughs> so apparently Dries has exquisite taste. Yes, yes. It's a, it's a very nice little studio apartment. So he's got his place in Boston as well as, you know, Portland. <laughs> yeah, it's a, that's called a pied in, yes. in Europe. Wow. <laughs> wow, the things you learn. Yes. Huh. <laughs> so... <clears throat> So you came to the Drupal Association, it was a job, maybe it looked interesting, maybe it, who knows, mm -hmm. and you encountered this group of 100,000 crazy, smart, weird people. Mm -hmm. How was that? It was, it was a little daunting at first, but it was the weirdness and the craziness that I liked because I quickly learned why people were being so passionate in their emails. I was like, oh my gosh, someone's either really excited or really upset. In reality, it was that this wasn't just a program or a software that they worked with or a company that they worked for and that was their nine to five. Like this was something that was incredibly important to them as individuals. And so 
especially when working for the association, any, any sort of feedback was almost like a please take care of my baby type feedback. You know, we're entrusting you with it. We're entrusting you to, to run this DrupalCon and to, to make it great and to make Drupal better. And so I think that's what I really actually enjoyed was any sort of intensity was really from a place of passion for the project. So I'm a company. I have something to do with Drupal. Mm -hmm. Talk about how I can tap into that energy and that passion. Well, the best way to tap into it is, I feel, to start small. I think it's great to be involved with the association, to have those organization memberships, to start being involved at the cons, but you've also got to get your name out there as individuals. You know, a lot of times in Drupal, the people working in the company are the main ambassadors for that company. You know, it's, it's an individual first where they work second. And so you really got to get your employees out there, getting into the sprint rooms, just sitting there, working with people, learning from people, and people will see your company as wanting to, wanting to play, basically, wanting to be involved. Fun, fun people in coding, fun to meetups, lunch. You know, give them a venue, small, small little wins, while also working on that business side and developing those relationships through the association. It's not about throwing money and 50 pizzas at someone. It's no. about building genuine relationships. Right. I, I think there's a genuine relationships on a business and then a community side. I don't think you can have one or the other. I think you have to have both. And that, that involves funding purely monetarily, but it also involves funding in terms of paying for your employees to do some work in Drupal, you know, giving them that two hours on a Friday to just do something that they care about. You know, that's, that's company money. That's a way of funding. And I think a lot of people don't see those little wins. Mm, the, 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 the importance of the interpersonal, the personal relationships mm -hmm. in the business relationships um, in and around a project like Drupal, I am not sure that it is the case in other industries and in other Software and as as Drupal frankly becomes a, a global force for change, mm -hmm. um, it's a very different way of do, doing business. With the generic uh, advice, some of the tips that you've been giving us, I mm -hmm. think it would be fair to guess. I'm surmising that yet in every case, for every individual business, because of geography, because of vertical, what have you, um, you're probably able to work with them to to actually make specific strategies measure how effective they are and so on absolutely it's it's in no way a one-size-fits-all it really it really depends on what you do where you are where you want to be it it's very individual and so it really takes that time of planning out that stage of all right what are we going to do let's just not jump in feet first let's plan our way up there let's get there because you don't want burnout what, what's your favorite thing about drupal favorite thing about Drupal? I think my favorite thing about Drupal is how, like the community, is how they will be having an incredibly serious conversation and then something ridiculous is thrown in the middle of it, which just kind of takes away that tension in the room. <laughs> Everyone's still a person. It's not this, it's not like a lot of online communities where you're online, you don't interact, you say whatever you want because you're never going to meet that person. I think in Drupal it's oddly incredibly face-to-face -face. you know you can you can be working with someone on a project for a very long time and the best moment is when you finally meet face-to-face -face once you realize that this is the user that you're talking to <laughs> which should be better now that the, the drupal.org has the profile pictures but you know it's that moment where people engage in person you know it's it's not this individual siloed off screen you're you know about people's lives you know about like about their kids you remember when they were married or when they're dating or you know you've followed them on all their job tracks and you remember when they worked and they were just starting out and now they're like mentoring and they're they're really getting involved it's it's a really it's more of a community i feel than others drupal has worked very hard and I think it comes back to Dries actually as the project founder. Um, he's worked very very hard to make this a community of people mm -hmm. and those connections really do help avoid flame wars and and trolling. Um, I mean we've, we've, we've had incidents over the years but the fact that we meet in person mm -hmm. 
whenever possible and wherever possible. And the fact uh, really, really helps. And, and people, I genuinely uh, operate from a position where we trust that everyone else wants the best for the project. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't agree with your dumb solution because mine is obviously better. But, but we, you know it's for the good. Right, and, and we, we have that common vision that mm -hmm. we should go to a better place. So I, I like that. And it, it really requires a great deal of you know, goodwill intent because not only are you dealing with people who are all very passionate about something, but throw in there the fact that you've got cultural differences, you've got language differences, there's so much room for communication errors. And I think, I think in general everyone's really good about understanding that okay, that thing offended me or I'm upset about this, but maybe I read it wrong. You know, like there, there's somewhere in your mind that little, I'm gonna come back to this, read it again, like maybe, maybe I'm missing the gesture because there's, there's just so much room for that, but I think in general the community is really good about being patient with each other. What word best describes Drupal? Unique. Unique in that I, I feel that you can really be whoever you are. <laughs> there, is, there is no set droopler. You know, you've, you've just got every type of person, every, you know, every style, every being created at the moment style, you know, giant Drupal hats, cowboy hats and things, you know, whatever. <laughs> right, but it's not just style or how you look or something. No, 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 it's, no, it's genuinely a community. It's the most diverse group of people um, I have ever had anything to do with. And it brings together the, I mean, across nationality, race, creed, color, orientation, political, religious beliefs. It dealt, it, Everything is here, yeah. And it kind of doesn't matter because we're extremely accepting and and careful and respectful, mm -hmm. and it, it leads to this amazing. It's like the ultimate melting pot somehow. I, I really I think it's better, you know. It, it especially when you're putting on conferences and things. There's someone who knows something about everything, you know. You've you've got people who have theater and music backgrounds, and you've got people who, you know, might have started out doing you know construction or or some sort of like planning stage type stuff before they might have found themselves as developers or what have you. And you, you've got a little bit of everything. You've got marketing people, so they know how to market well. You've got business people, so they know who to contact you with. It's just you got a everyone seemed to come to it from something else and they brought what they originally had a passion for with them. All right, now, please give us your shameless pitch. My shameless pitch. My shameless pitch is that I am available for freelance to work with any companies or technology startups that are looking to become more involved or simply want someone to help them with coordination as well as I do offer business and speaking tutoring and um, facilitating because that's a really great way to differentiate your sessions getting approved and running well. Even just today I heard about a wonderful session that the person was so nervous and everyone could tell and you know they, they really felt for them but it, it took away from the session. So I also offer some trainings to help with that to, to get the more confidence in your speakers. Okay, so if you need help, if you feel you need help communicating, if you want to get more out of Drupal and open source and the power of this incredible community of practitioners that we have, Ruth, I will post, uh, I guess, contact information? Yes. So you can find me at R-U-T-H-H-F-U-L-L-E-R.com, which is RuthHFuller.com. That's my name. It's got my Drupal user ID on there. It's got my Twitter handle, Drupal Ruth, LinkedIn, the works, email, phone, you name it. All right. Hey, thanks for taking the time. Thank to, you for having me. To, to, to describe this to us. It's, yeah. it's really, it's it. Also backs up what I've um, observed in the Drupal community over the last few years. It really takes a village now. It's not just developers. Now Drupal needs lawyers and marketers and um, you know facilitators and communication specialists. It's very, very exciting. So um, yes, contact Ruth if you need help with that stuff. Thanks. Thank you so much. Love being here.
Now we're alone. Maybe this 